Ice TV anchor Rufai Useni has escaped being assaulted by members of a political party who issued him threats. He made this known through his official Twitter accounts as he said that they threatened him inside an elevator. Useni, who is a ferry journalist, said the political party members were abusing him, but he chose not to respond or engage him. According to the popular presenter, he calmly walked away because he realized he's not supposed to respond to everyone. He said, abuses everywhere. People from a political party saw me and, and, and threatened me in an elevator. I just walked away. I have learned it. It is not everyone you respond to, he wrote. Husseini added, hearing all sorts of sorts is part of my job, but I am not deterred. My job is to help build my nation. The goal of a better nation is paramount. For me, the logic of the argument is paramount. The priority is to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. My fidelity is to my country and not politicians. In related news, months ago, Commander Mr. Macaroni said he and members of his family received threats from supporters of his certain presidential candidates because they believe he is against their choice. The activist made this known via his official Twitter account on Sunday, August 14, 2022, though he did not disclose the name of the presidential candidate. Mr. Macaroni stated that he has been a victim of cyberbullying in the past, but that would not stop him from asking Nigerians to elect the most suitable candidates to occupy various leadership positions in the forthcoming general elections. In his words, he said, I went to visit my mother two weeks ago. I was giving out money to some people in the neighborhood, as I always do anytime I go home. A woman walked up to me and asked, my, asked why I am against a particular candidate. I said, I am not against anyone. All I want is for a better country. And that's that can only happen when we vote in good leaders. The next thing she said is that I should better watch myself because they know where my people live. I asked if that was a threat and she continued saying all sorts of. My sister and manager were with me and I have a video. I can go on and on about different threats that I have received from some party members of supporters of a presidential candidate because they somehow believe that I am against their choice. Cyberbullying via different online attacks and tribal propaganda. There's so much dishonesty going on and it gets worse by the day. But my messaging will never change. Nigerians have suffered enough. Look around you and look at the serious challenges we are facing as a people. There is no Messiah anywhere. However, to stand a chance for a better nation come 2023, we must elect the most suitable options to occupy positions of leadership in the country. We must individually analyze these candidates by examining their past records, their current state of mind, their capacity and capability vis-a-vis -vis the respective position they wish to occupy. Do your research and vote for the right candidates. I rest my case for now. I think it's a vote wisely. When you say vote wisely, they ah they don't like that word. Let everybody like I've always said, let everybody check and you know according to the situation you are faced with, with what you are faced with. And unfortunately, a lot of people are suffering, but they don't know it, they don't see it as a suffering, they just feel that that is how God has created the whole thing because they are so religious. And you know, if you want to pick one or two things, we know uh, the presidential candidates who are so insultive. Let's even forget about their their supporters or their followers. At least we know the ones that they talk, uh, 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 they talk and they abuse people, they get at people, and people have like even people who are not even uh, on the side of some of the people that they accuse or they attack verbally or through their speech or whatever. Those ones who say, ah, you have to take it easy. And this is APC. Shetima and Tinumbu, they are the ones that have been talking and talking. They will be, instead of them, they will go for their own meeting. But you know what? They will be discussing the battle B. And Obi has never even, even come, even to even discuss with any of them. The, the new bride of uh, those who are in that category is uh, Soludo now. He's now on his talking, 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 and talking. So we know them. 
um they will go for their meeting but they will be discussing will be you can imagine and people have called them why you are the, they are the ones that will first come and co come and come at and say oh you know what it has to be issue based this thing but they are the one that they will derail once they read derail when people give it back to them they'll begin to shout up and down so let's leave uh, the politicians or the supporters of all these uh, candidates but the re the candidates themselves they have come out majority of them have come out to blow rubbish blow nonsense but they are the ones that will first come out and be say, oh, it has to be an issue based on it because they don't want to be asked questions, they don't want to be questioned, they don't want to uh, have anything to do with the public, but they want to leave the public. So uh, I'll even be saying it the way and manner at which, uh, what was this man's name? Rufai has been going, <laughs> I just say, are you fear for this man? No? Uh, if by this time, they are that you are just getting to know this by this time, or you are just getting to get this experience or this traitor, that means they will take, they will stay long for even to to have even for you to have even received that because I expected that to have happened a long time, but definitely they will not disappoint. They will do that, but a lot of people are really afraid for you because we know what they stand for. When you can imagine such people that are you know when they talk about a drug, you know those guys they are not they are they are main people. So you should you should understand that when they have affiliation with all this. Uh, uh, towels and what have you they are so close to them so you should know what they stand for so they can do and undo it's just unfortunate it's just unfortunate that and we pray that god will continue to disgrace them they'll be disgraced there's no two ways about it they will be disgraced mm. that is what they will, they will resort to now you see the issue of a uh, INEC. Oh, INEC said this, INEC did not say this. That is what they are not carrying. They want to use that to cover every other thing. The issue of a uh, US, they, 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 they're not fit to them now. It happened. And initially, I thought maybe some people just even wrote some stuff. I said, ah, I said, mm, okay. But when they now began to respond to that, I began, eh, hey. so this thing really happened. But their justifications means nothing. It's just zero. Means nothing. It knows no water. Mm. Okay. Rufai Oseni remains one of the best and truthful journalists in the country. I love him. Okay, by your assessment. Of course, that is a standard assessment because if we are to talk of anything in this country, we don't have system, we don't even have value for things. We celebrate cor corruption. Majority li majority of the people in this country, Nigeria, celebrate corruption. That is what they are known for. So when you see people who are upright, upright, they just believe that you have to sit on the fence. Ah, you don't have to say anything. You just have to be politically correct. That is what that is what they use in covering the whole thing. You have to be politically correct. You don't have to come out and say who is not have who has the right to say what say it the way it is. Who has the right? Ordinary people will say they will say oh, you don't have knowledge. The ones that have knowledge, you say oh, you don't have to say it. This is how you are supposed to say it. But when people are committing all manner of blunders, they don't know that they are not supposed to commit all of those. But when people begin to talk about those things, it becomes a crime. So we are not even surprised because you know that uh, those people that he's talking about, they have always come out for him that uh, he's not professional. Professional in what sense? So somebody who is in into drug, uh, whether they are telling us uh, whether it is a, a, a civil for feature or no single fifu is a. Uh, not a, a, a official for feature or whatever they will they are the ones that will come and you know they have the right to tell you they are professional enough to come and vie for this kind of position to your number one seat well we know their type so anything that has a system you know when you talk about system integrity they don't know it because you know when people are used to the wrong things it, it will be very difficult you have People in the majority who want to do that. Even in the same environment, you see how people want to do things in an abnormal way. Not to talk of a place like Nigeria that is just a free for Impunity is a free for All these shenanigans, you know, are free for So it's a, it's a norm. They say somebody stole billions of them now today. Uh -huh. They go say, now let you go first thing. That is the mindset of them. So they will not be the one to tell you that, uh, oh, this one is not professional enough. It's not professional, but we are professional in keeping a uh, proceed of a... Uh, of corruption of a uh, drugs yeah, hey, those ones are professional so uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this